Hello, my name is Robert Dean Steele, and today I'm going to be talking about um, loving one another. Now, Meryl F. Unger wrote, This is doctrinally and experientially sound. To know God in the Jewish mindset was both godly, truthful, and righteous in all your ways. Before we do anything, let's open our time with a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you today for what we're learning from the Word of God. And we ask your blessing upon this now in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, this means to control or have the Lord control seven days a week. Your thought, your words, and deeds controlled by the Holy Spirit. Any less would be the sin of partial surrender. Now, Solomon points out in Proverbs uh, that wisdom will be help us to recognize and break the attraction of sin. Remember, sin only is good for a season. Solomon names several comforts to watch out for. He says greed is the number one priority. He also says be careful of lust of the flesh, lust of the eyes, and pride of life. Solomon warns also against all types of immorality. And uh, Solomon also points out in Proverbs 3, 7, that pride was not the original sin. You see, what actually happened is what we do when it comes to pride is you think that you need something when you really don't. It creates selfishness, arrogance, and conceit. Your needs become the top priority. Everything centers around what you want and what you need. That's why self-discipline and control are so very important to the child of God. Solomon points out in Proverbs as well, he says, the instructions and discipline are are supplemental with lifestyle. He points out with other Proverbs, well, we must not only hear God's word, but do them. James says the same thing in James 1.22. Proverbs 1, seven says that, Wisdom is grounded in the fear of the Lord. It is a deep reverence for God and is manifested in sincere, unquestioning obedience to his commands. For the Christian, there are commandments that Christ wants us to follow. And here are some of the commandments he wants us to do. First of all, love one another. Preach the gospel and baptize others. Do communion in remembrance of him. Be willing to sacrifice all for others. Bring forth fruit that remains. The Hebrew word here is masur, which means to correct, to admonish, to firmly encourage, and through the process of tutoring and mentoring. It says, train a child in the way he should go, and when he's old, he will not depart from it. We are called to be disciples. In the ancient world, that meant to partner your life after and philosophy and belief over a person uh, following a person the word discipline means the word disciple to discipline oneself means to set your priorities and lifestyle in the direction that God wants you to be most beneficial to yourself and others in the case of the Bible you know Christian it means to model and mentor our lifestyle after Jesus you're putting into practice what you see hear and know and experience your tutoring and and your instruction is by the Holy Spirit, and you apply biblical principles in your everyday life. We need to do that today. Well, if you like what you heard, of course, I encourage you to press like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. My name is Robert Dean Steele. You have yourself a great and godly day.